This new section deals with uh, parallel installations in accordance with NEC 300.3b as in boy 1. Purpose of change was a new sentence. And this new sentence has been added to require that connection for a parallel set of conductors that all of the conductors of the set and not just to one of the conductors in parallel has to be done uh, as in the past. Now, uh, notice if you look at the uh, at parallel in uh, section number, it would be uh, 310.10G deals with paralleling conductors. And they have to be at least one alt or larger for reasons as we previously have uh, mentioned to you. But now notice in the boxed in uh, information, you have one through five uh, listed items there that have to be complied with. Now notice, be the same uh, conductor length. Uh, consist of the same conductor material. Be the same size in circular mill area. Have the same uh, installation type. Be terminated in the same manner. Now, those are five conditions that has to be done for a particular phase, L1, L2, or L3. Now, I think we can uh, get what's really required by just reviewing the notes. Now, notice note one in the blue to the left. And, uh, you know, the, the fittings that we would look at for parallel hookups and everything would be, or just single uh, runs really, 300.4G and 300.15F deals with your fittings, as you see there. But now uh, I think uh, we'll review the notes. And note one, uh, connections, taps, or extensions made from a parallel set of conductors shall be connected. All conductors of the parallel set, grounded and ungrounded, is applicable for 300.3B1. Note two says the grounded uh, conductors or equipment grounds are not shown in illustration. We're just showing you the faces. Conductors, uh, in note three, conductors shall be grouped with all conductors of the same circuit to prevent imbalances of current and parallel conductors due to inductive reactants per 300.20 and 310.10G. So we have to, you know, kind of follow that note three for a particular group. Note four, for grounded conductors in parallel, see 300.10G. If you're connecting conductors in parallel with equipment grounds, you want to see uh, 250.122F uh, there. And then if you notice from the tap can, that we look at in the illustration, auxiliary gutter. L1, notice that we uh, pull that L1 in both conduits. Uh, L2, we pull both those conductors in each conduit. And note three, we pull uh, those conductors in each conduit, and that prevents what note three is talking about to you. And then notice the conductors uh, in parallel in each set, uh, they do have to meet uh, the boxed-in information that talks about conductors for each phase must, and then it goes through the items one through four. So again, make sure that you uh, review the purpose of change very carefully, this new sentence that basically requires that the connection for a parallel set of conductors, set, that all the conductors of the set and not just the one of the conductors in parallel has been done uh, in the past. So uh, review the notes and review 300.3b1 very carefully when you parallel conductors, and then also look at 310.10g, uh, and then also review for your equipment grounds, your uh, 250.122f. And I think, you know, uh, uh, we won't be making these errors excuse me, errors uh, when we connect these conductors uh, in parallel.